about sex ed. To be specific, we're talking about sex ed with porn stars. Listen, don't don't be don't be judgmental. Don't be judgmental. We're not here for that. We're here to listen and learn. So let's get straight into it. Huh? Oh. Have you ever so? developed feelings for a star or a picked up actor? Ooh. Ooh. Yes, the tea is hot. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. Don't, don't put those two words. Don't put burning and sex together. Stop it. It's weird. It's not weird. It, it sounds crazy. That's what it do. It sounds crazy. <laughs> How many people have you had sex with? Do you know the number? Sex ed kind of oh, funny, man. <laughs> no. <laughs> Over a hundred people, I think. I mean, I guess it's not a lot, is it? I don't know. I guess it's not. Yes. I lost all perspective. Um, I have this in my phone. Okay, the number right now is at 69. Sorry, is it? Guys, that was ironic. Come on, and I had he had to be first, joking. I was like all proud, but now I'm ashamed to say that because you have sex so much. You'll literally walk to a person and be like, "Hey, nice to meet you," and they'll be like, "No, we had sex last week," and then you're like, "Oh, I'm I'm so sorry." How different is your personal <laughs> sex? Okay, life? I, I've I've never wow. Sex life. Wow. My sex life off camera is definitely more intimate. Like I can actually touch them and feel them on my chest and everything. We don't have to worry about Angles. letting the camera see all the action. Yeah. Of course, you enjoy the sex and you want. I mean, to I mean, what? What am I talking about? I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. I have no idea. Some of the things I do on camera, I do not want to do in my room. Like I'm not like swinging off of a Tarzan vine and back flipping onto him or anything like that. If something feels good and like you feel like you want to finish, you can. If you're filming, it's like wait. We still have two more positions to do. <laughs> Man, this universe that they're in is crazy. I almost said amazing. I don't know if that's the universe for me. You're not, but in a private, personal setting. My sex life is okay. a much more intimate life. I think it's more of a feeling than it is what you actually see. Being able to cry maybe during sex, or maybe even just oh, wow. being very vulnerable during sex. I don't necessarily go to that space a lot within my pornography. That makes sense. That makes sure sense. It's kind of like most people just want to see. That sex. makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, yeah okay. Sex on set, but you don't get to really build it up to the point that you're getting to really know a person intimately. Like, you get to go out, you get to have drinks, you get to eat with a person, you get to get to know them. That's the fun part. That's the experience. And then eventually, if this, this is the difference, if you want to have sex, you can. How has your job affected your sex life? Has it really These been? questions. <laughs> Um, no, I feel like my job gave me like superpowers because I'm I said, why would it ruin? Happen. I don't know. So I feel you like it's figure easier out. to get to that Maybe point it has in the relationship somebody's. of like breaking down all those sexual barriers and just jumping into the fun stuff. In the beginning of my career, I kind of got in this mindset where I was like, if I'm not getting paid to have sex, I'm not doing it. This is my job. I am now professional. And when you do something professional, you're, you're getting paid for it forever. And then I fell in love. <laughs> Well, um, I mean, I wouldn't. I wasn't looking really down or anything, you know. I'm looking right in her eyes. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. So, I don't have much of a sex life in general. It's like your partner liking football. And <laughs> God, not, so golly, bro! I'm trying so hard. It's not like you're I mean, gonna I mean, go I mean, into joking, football games by yourself. Not really, but I'm joking. <laughs> It was a really part, big decision you know? to come out as asexual. That immediately can drop your amount of subscribers or followers. I mean, the entire idea of the adult industry is to construct a fantasy. And that fantasy is destroyed when uh, you yeah, tell people, people you aren't much. sexually interested in yeah. watching them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm starting to believe now I'm asexual because I don't want to have sex with anybody at this mm. point. <laughs> I think I'm starting to become numb. I. I, I don't is know that, is that maybe but, though? Um, well, I don't know. I don't want to say it's not, it's not a, it's a disadvantage of doing I porn. I first started off as an escort. I was having like sex with almost six guys a day. Now that I'm 23, I feel like I've hit a wall when it comes to sex. See, like that's the only thing that I would be worried about. Horny. Um, and I think that has a lot to do with me seeing so many sex partners when I was younger. So, yeah, I think... I, I don't want that to happen to me. I can't just be out here slinging D. I can't. It ain't gonna work. 
are the orgasms real. It was really rare, and I couldn't even tell you. I like mine. That's I special. Did because I was so focused on performing. And only for me, not for everybody. Golly. <laughs> I thought you were supposed to fake it, so I would just go in there and be like, wah. <laughs> <laughs> answer this is yes 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 as a porn consumer i notice when people aren't connecting and that doesn't turn me on so for me my co-star whoever i'm working with we have to have a sexual connection i would say almost every single one of my scenes i have actually had a real orgasm. i'm not going to bring you on set and not orgasm i'm not wasting that time <laughs> for some of guys so bro this saying some stuff is like i never would have thought bro never would have thought then they'll fake it for you so it'd be like a tube and you would like shoot out like fake every shoot like i've ever done like at least one point we had to like stop eat something or like drink water or like something to like get us back in the spirit yeah that's what i want to like don't they gotta like stop recording for pleasure or and shoot from a different angle sometimes like is it working how they consumer <laughs> now that we have covid i'm just kidding <laughs> first of all i'm pretty I sure covid turned a lot of people I out i know that browsers or evil angel did it i'm not watching it <laughs> so it has to be amateur. I have to believe that it was real. <laughs> it's funny that you asked. The only reason I'm gonna say something, but I cannot put that information out about myself, no sir. My whole stars, um, they're great looking people, but I don't know. I feel weird watching them have sex. <laughs> I'm like, I gotta film with this person tomorrow. I just had coffee with this person. It's kind of like watching a cousin I, have sex. Like you. Know, I don't. Like, I have. I'm. Glad, I have nothing to say. Like. <laughs> I'll be watching a porn and I'm really judgmental on the guy. I'm like, what's he doing? He's not opening up. I can't see what's going on. Oh, I'm, I'm going to change this video. This guy's not opening up. I rewatch my own scenes to critique myself. This is so <laughs> educational. I rewatch my own because I remember the sensation and the feeling. But you also yeah. might be ruining yeah, porn for a lot of people of weird, like, by giving this much insight. I'm sure that I did good, like viewable for And by a lot of people. Uh, I mean me. Uh, get their jollies off. <laughs> How do you protect yourself from STIs and pregnancy? Oh yeah, this is a good question. I know girls who are just on birth control, and I know girls who are not on birth control, and they just don't shoot when they're ovulating. We get tested <sighs> so often, <laughs> every 14 days, and then sometimes it's like more frequently than every 14 days not to say that wow. we don't catch the couple little bacterial infections here and there and kind of part of the job but we try to be very careful with it my sets are only safe sex so yeah because it's like that's your instrument and you're the musician you know I mean, i've been to sex that are pretty scary i'm not gonna lie to you but and sometimes other people have to play the honest joke y'all <laughs> i quit <laughs> Have you ever developed feelings for a co-star or a co-star? Oh, 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 Yes, the tea is hot. <laughs> the majority yeah. of the people are pretty hot, so it's hard not to. Yeah. <laughs> it was actually the first guy that Yeah, I, I mean, if you're with. having sex with people, so, I don't see how you couldn't. I had, like, this huge crush on him. I was just amazed by the way he, um, he threw it on me. <laughs> I have seen problems happen. See, this is why I mean, I need mine to be special. No offense. I have no problem with, with, with what they're doing. Shooting with their own partner, or all of a sudden the other partner who's in porn doesn't want the other partner to do porn anymore. Probably not. My job is a full time job. And it's a real relief to be able to be with someone that takes me away from that a little. What's the worst part of the job? I always tell this to people, I wouldn't change anything about my job. I would change the way people and society view my job. I know girls mm. who just got a brand new apartment and moved in there and they found out what they did, the neighbors, and then they like send their pictures to everybody in the complex and be like, oh, this girl does porn. Make sure you watch out for her. Like stuff like that really does happen. The mainstream in the world. What? Hates and I'm not sure if we'll ever be accepted. And also what? Yo, what he just said, yo, that was kind of crazy. What, what the other guy said. Porn would not be as big as it is if people didn't consume it. This is what I keep trying to tell the world. Society hasn't accepted adult entertainers yet, and it really limits what I can do with my future. Um, I'm it really one. does, dang. It was part of my life goals to conduct a high school orchestra one day. I can't do that anymore. That is sacrifice. That is gone. The next job wow. that I go for after this. I might not get it just because of the fact that my needs are on the internet. 
Oh, because somebody sees you naked. So what? I, I was brought into this world naked. You know what I'm saying? Very important. Oh, I love this question. Thank you for asking that. If question. I got it, I'm going to show it. You know what I'm saying? Was not about but I'm not. We didn't have these regimented rules. <laughs> I mean, I will, but. People would just I'm show not. up, have sex. If the girl didn't want to do anal, tough. You're doing anal. I mean, there's been lots of that happening. So what? Anymore. When you're on set, there's like a checklist of like what you agree to do, and like you talk with it with the director and your partner. Consent is like my favorite thing, and I think it's it's hot. Like one of my scenes the other day, like the guy was like, "Can I do this to your vagina?" And I was like, "Can I do this to your penis?" I get asked to do a lot of really, really bizarre, outrageous things. The list is just a mile long. <laughs> Role play involving race or rape play. I'm not comfortable with that. I got a lot of. Uh, I'm about to say, hold on, what's she about to say? Orders from white supremacists. I practice a philosophy called enthusiastic consent. So unless if I'm absolutely enthusiastic to post it, I do not create it. I guess, don't, I, I guess that makes kind of sense. Um, definitely. Makes a lot of sense. And I think like but. I played a part in that mostly because I wasn't aware of how to like articulate my boundaries or wasn't aware of what my boundaries were. I would just like agree to everything without like asking what that entails yeah i was and um, i felt like it was a setup and the crazy thing was i was excited to shoot for that company because they're one of the biggest companies on pornhub and i felt really comfortable i'm like okay the makeup artist is here this other assistant she's here usually when there's women on set i really let my guard down and me and the director we started taking photos and i noticed the house got quiet and I asked the director, I was like, where are the two women? He was like, oh, they left. And when me and Hump started filming, he was so rough. And um, I am I am a victim of rape, so. Oh my gosh, it was one of those videos. Oh my gosh, it was one of those videos. Uh, those videos stress me out, bro. I believe One of my friends was like, hey, look at this. You want to see this? And I, oh, bro. Oh, my gosh, bro. Yes. <laughs> That's not it to me, man. That's not it for me. Is it lacks any sense of intimacy, any sense of realness. This may be an unpopular opinion, but I think that tube sites are a bad thing. The free porn world is putting out scenes and it's so easy for children to just get on these sites and to learn from porn scenes just for me as a performer i really wanted to see more realistic sex instead of something like hi my name's tiffany and then like pff, anal sex ensues you know like <laughs> like it's a fantasy and not realistic you don't see the behind the scenes the discussion between the scene partners and i wish um, us as porn stars, like, we would be more open and tell people, like, hey, we gave consent for this. It's not okay to pick up a random girl at a bar <laughs> and spit in her mouth. Hey, yeah, don't do that, dude. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Straight this ain't it. It's a lot more aggressive. The woman is, like, always submissive. And I just feel like that's rooted in so much, like, hatred for women and, like, misogyny. Like, a woman has to do what the man wants and, like, make him... You know, I'll be honest with you. I think the porn industry is becoming a lot more... That's very interesting. And I never, really I never even thought about that kind of stuff. Platforms like OnlyFans adds a sense maybe, of realness maybe back into adult material. Kind of stuff. We're producing for you, the consumer who wants to watch it. We are in no way wanting children to watch it. We don't even think it's sex ed. It's a fantasy. It's fun. So, for me, my work has always been activism. And so really putting it out there and saying, look, I enjoy my life. I enjoy sex. People enjoy watching me have sex. Right, this it's a consensual is... thing between adults who are having a great time and giving it to you to watch to have a great time, too. I don't worry about it. Y'all some freaky people, man. Y'all some freaks, it. man. Y'all some freaks, man. Y'all are some freaks, man. They some freaks. I quit, I quit. But listen, if you thought anything in this video was interesting, educational in this since uh like the video comment subscribe let me know what you want me to react to in the comments i'll get back to it in the next video or i'll try to i'll try to i swear i'll try and until you see me in that next video